Every mind must have some counsellor to whom it may apply for consolation in distress. There are many conveniences which others can supply and which we cannot procure for ourselves. I have now principally in view those objects which are only to be obtained through intercourse. Forgive me through the intercourse of friendship or civility. On such occasions, the proud man steps forth to meet you not with the cordiality of affection, but with the suspicion of one who reconnoitres an enemy who is ready to. So, how long do you plan to stay at Kent As long as Darcy chooses, I'm at his disposal. Everyone appears to be at his disposal. Nobody he doesn't marry and secure a lasting convenience of that kind. She wouldn't be a lucky woman. Really? Darcy is a most loyal companion. From what I heard in our journey here, he recently came to the rescue of one of his friends just in time. What happened? Uh, he saved the man from an imprudent marriage. Who was the man? <coughs> his closest friend, Charles Bingley. Did Mr. Darcy give a reason for this interference? There were apparently strong objections to the lady. What kind of objections? Her lack of fortune? I think it was a family that was considered unsuitable. So he separated them? I believe so. I know nothing else. Oh.